Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video in the TI Basic series. Uh, what I'll be teaching you now is the basics of how to use uh, variables in TI Basic, and also I'll be going over how to use or how to de how to delete uh, programs in TI Basic and on your calculator, actually. So yeah, so variables are a simple way to store numbers. It's just um, you get you have a letter basically, and then you can associate that letter with a number. So if you look at your calculator's keyboard here, you know right here, you see that next to almost every key you have a letter. And on this calculator model, it's like yellow. So you see these yellow letters on the side. So if you want to access these, like put them in the you know, up here basically, um, like I'll put them. You could do alpha and then press whatever key is associated with that um, letter. So um, so if we want to do K, um, then we just do it like that. So now we have K. Oh. That was an accident. Okay, so, um, yeah, so if you want to type those, just do alpha and then press the key associated with that letter. So you can set each of these letters to be associated with a number so that you can save them to that letter and then they'll be saved for future reference. Maybe you need to save it for a program. Um, maybe if you're just doing simple math on your calculator, like algebra, stuff like that, you might want to save a variable like x equals 100 or anything like that. You could use, you could use it for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, but also you don't need to use letters. You can also use th the um, theta symbol, which is like a Greek symbol, I believe. And it's also used in physics. I use that in physics. It's like, uh, actually I forgot what it represents. I, I think it's an angle symbol, maybe. I forgot. But anyway, so theta, um, where's the theta? It's right here, right here, this one. So alpha and three, that's theta. It's basically a zero with the line, a squ squiggly line inside of it, basically. So yeah, so if you want to check the value of a variable, all you got to do is put the letter in the, I'm gonna call it a chat, but it's not a chat, <laughs> this is not a game, but uh, I guess I'll put it onto the home screen, and then you can press enter, and then it'll return the value. So, um, most likely, if you've never done this before, it'll just return zero, like what it, it did right here. So that's just because you haven't set it to a value yet, obviously. So if you wanna set it to a value, you can use what's called the store key. So, uh, right here's the store key, the STO, and then that little sign right there. That basically is just a key that sets the letters to equal to a number. It's just how you store the numbers, you know, into a, vari a variable. So now let's say we want to say set A to something, right? So we got to put a number. So we got to make up a number, any value. It could be a, like 100.2 or it can be like a whole number, you know, just 100. So we'll set 100 equal to A, okay? So we can type the number and then we set, do we do store? And then we put the variable that we want to set it to or the letter, you know? So we're going to do alpha math, you know, to pull up the A, and then press enter, and now A is equal to 100. So if you want to test that out, let's output A, enter, and then we get 100 back. So now we know that that letter is set to the number 100. So that's pretty cool, right? So we can use these variables like we did, um, like we use them in math, you know, by substituting them for numbers. So let's try that. So let's set maybe like B equal to 8, so 8 store alpha B. So now B is equal to eight. And then we could do something like maybe alpha B, so B times two. And if that works, it's basically just like algebra, like I said, so eight times two, that should return 16. So let's try that. Boom, we get 16. So it works the same way. So awesome. So since we know how to do that and set variables on the calculator, um, use them in what calculations, whatever you want to do, let's go ahead and figure out how to do that in the program editing software, the TI Connect thingy. So if we pull that up right here, um, we can make a new program, okay? And we're just going to call this one um, var, uh, var, VARS, there we go, just VARS, whatever you want to name it, doesn't matter what you name it, it's just a program, you know? So, uh, yeah, so if you want to set a variable inside of here, what you can do is put, well, the number, obviously, and then we got to find the store key. So where's the store key? We go to keypad, and then it's right here, it's this little area, uh, arrow here. So it's the second one. So we double click this to put it in there. And then now it's here, so we can set it to a letter now. So we can set it to like C. So 100 is now set to C. There we go, capital. And um, yeah, so let's say we wanna test this out. Um, we can go ahead and um, set it 100 equal to C and then let's see what happens. Um, so let's send it to our program, our calculator I mean. Set the, send the program to our calculator. And uh, yep. <clears throat> So program, then I'm gonna go down. Oh wait, yeah, I gotta open it in the smart view because you can't see my calculator, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the program up here. We're gonna run it, press enter, and we get 100. So it's just setting the value of um, 
C to 100, I believe. Let's go back and check. So yeah, 100 to C. So let's see if we check C if it's set to 100 here. Awesome. So now if we run C inside of our program, it does 100. So yeah, that's pretty simple, you know. So um, you know that's how we set variables um, and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm going to show you how to delete programs on your calculator. So deleting programs um, could be useful for a bunch of reasons, like maybe clearing up space on your calculator, or maybe just sick. Of, maybe you're just sick of looking at 100 different programs listed on your poor calculator because it could be pretty confusing. Maybe you have all those different programs. But uh, anyway, so if you want to delete um, a program, just go to second and then plus to open up the memory menu here and then either go to number two or press number two to go to memory management slash delete okay and then we're going to go down to programs or press seven okay and then now we have all these different programs okay so go to whatever one that you want to delete and then um, press uh, delete and then it'll ask you if you're sure and then press two if you're sure boom then you're done you can delete as many as you want it shows you how much space you have and all that kind of stuff. So, yep, that's how you delete stuff. It's really simple. And, uh, yeah, so I know this was, a, this was a really simple episode. I showed you how to set variables to numbers. Um, I showed you how to do it inside the program editor, too. So you know how to do it in the future. So, um, yeah, and then we can delete programs now. I just showed you that. So with all that knowledge, get ready for the next episode. I'll be showing you how to um, use the input and output um, in TI Basic, and that will allow you to... I'll put stuff to the screen, take input from the user, ask him stuff, and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, just leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll be, sh I'll be doing more videos. And, uh, yeah. So, peace.